Oh, I love it, but hard to believe it. It's been more than two decades since three talented Tulsa brothers burst onto the music scene with the number one Grammy nominated song that had us all singing. Mm, Bob, you remember, introduce us to Hanson. Of course. <laughs> now, today, from crafting music to beer, they have a lot going on, including their first Hawaii show, and we're happy to have them here on Living It Away. Taylor and Zach, and then, of course... Well, shout out to Isaac, who <laughs> yeah. can join us. Hanson! Yeah. Of course, he's not here, but that's okay. Thank he, you he guys for being here. He was not as smart as we are. He decided to come slightly later. We're like, no, no, we're going early. Oh, <laughs> good. Well, aloha. Welcome. Yeah, thank, you. thank you so much for having us. We're, we're excited. Sorry it took us so long. No. I know. Yeah. But you have a lot more music to be able to share, yes. because it's really yes. evolved in what you're doing, from just being a band to a brand. So tell us about what you're going to be giving everyone here. Well, I mean, it is our first time playing in Hawaii, so we'll, I mean... For the concert, we'll touch on music from 20 plus years. Mm -hmm. But yeah, as you said, I mean, we've really been entrepreneurs since we were kids. You know, you start being a band, you're you're kind of this little outfit. You're trying to you're doing merchandise, you're doing music. Mm -hmm. So we started making craft beer a few years ago. We have a festival. That's around great. The town. That wasn't when you were young. You were yeah. doing that. <laughs> when I was 12, no, at 12, it was like, hey guys. Legally, we had to wait till no, we were 21. We're performing <laughs> in a venue, and everybody's consuming something. We should have our name on. It. Yeah. No, totally. Yeah. But I mean, I, really, it's always come back. At the end of the day, it's always come back to music, and that's, I mean, that's why you still do it. You would do it to 20 people or to, you know, 100,000, so. It's so hard for bands to stay together. How yes. have you guys done it? Now, I know it's, it would be a family breakup, <laughs> but how, how have you guys done it? I mean, honestly, it, it gets, in some ways, it's harder every year, and in other ways, you know, you have more and more history and more and more to build on every year. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, we have been playing together since Zach was six years old, so we've been yeah. for more than 25 years. Um, but I think more than anything, it's it's probably just about looking ahead, you know, looking forward to the next thing you're going to do. Well, and, and you were playing uh, I Was Born, you think about songs like Umbop, think about songs like Where's Love, at these. What we tend to write about is sort of persevering and getting through hard times. And so it's this funny sort of natural therapy that happens. When you go on stage and you sing these songs about making it through something or standing up for something you believe in, it's really hard to go off stage and be like, and I hate you. Yeah, <laughs> you know? totally. That's true. And then you get the whole family involved. This yeah. is great. Yeah. So last, um, two years ago, we celebrated being a band 25 years and we put out one new song with that, with that collection. And these are all our children. Um, and the song is called I Was Born, and it's about this idea of, of, you know, sort of everybody has their own path and, you know, just the concept of kids in their purity going, I can be anything, I can do anything, and so the video kind of captures that. You guys have kids. <laughs> Lots of kids, yeah. <laughs> I, I want to know, um, how do they feel about your music, and do any of them, are, oh. are any of them interested in music? They have to be themselves? talented, right? There, there's definitely artistic, yeah. you know, quality musicians. <laughs> your older kids are definitely players. Yeah, I was the first one to have kids, so I have, a, my son's almost 17, and then wow. we have a little baby. But, I mean, th I think they see that we work really hard for what we do, mm -hmm. and there's definitely a lot of creativity. And um, and then they, I mean, for all of us, you know, we, we sort of tell them, hey, you know, we want you to do what, you know, what you're good at and what you're passionate about. Mm -hmm. um, and if it happens to be music, then, you know, we'll pray for you. That's <laughs> great. <laughs> I have to say, I love, I love string theory and oh, love oh, yeah. newer Thank music. You. Is there a song that you're especially proud of and maybe it's different for both of oh, you? Well, string theory was a really special project. That's something we just finished up um, and, you know, getting to actually put all your music to an orchestra, write music for the orchestra. Uh, and it was really cool because it was really more about telling a story than specifically a song. Right? We got to pull from 25 years of songs plus writing new songs for it. Um, symphonies all over the world. I mean, we played you know, a couple nights at Sydney Opera House, you know, wow. Festival Hall in London, all over the U.S. Greek mm -hmm. theater. Yeah, Greek theater, yeah. I mean, and so, I've, I've, again, I mean, challenging yourself and being inspired and, and challenging your, your own ability, that keeps you engaged. That keeps you excited because if you're not excited about it you know you can't expect an audience yeah so. i love that that's a, yeah um, <laughs> you know what i'm gonna i'm gonna ask you guys to do me a favor okay help me out a little bit you guys have done so many interviews <laughs> i want to know if there's ever a question that you haven't been asked yet that you would <laughs> like not. to have been asked <laughs> Um, well, that's oh. uh, thanks for asking that. It's that's much. one of the things that people don't ever ask. <laughs> is there a question that you have never answered that you would love to have been asked? Well, I mean, the, the truth is a lot of the questions you want to be asked ha have to do with just really getting deeper into the work. You know, I think what people don't, you know, um, often recognize is, you know, we started so young. True. And it seems as if if you started young, you, you must have just sort of fell into it. Mm -hmm. Where if you started really young, that means you're actually that much more sort of obsessed and determined, you know, mm -hmm. like, well, I can do this. I'm 10, I can do this. And so I think it's the questions that take, you know, take us into the 2020, you know, conversation where we need to all sit back and 
you know, dive in deep. It's, it's about the craft. You know, well, I think that's what drives you. And, and we've been lucky to do it long enough that, you know, tragically, Rick Ocasek from the Cars just died. Mm -hmm. And to see yep. not only icons, but friends, people you work with yep. passing away and the things that they've been able to give you, um, you know, you learn so much from just getting to sit in the room with people like Wild Man and people like, you know, Carol King and write songs. And then they, you realize it's just about you just keep going. You just keep going. You're going to have bad days, good days. You're going to write a, a hit song one day. You're going to write a terrible song the next day. Well, and also, you just keep going. There's, there's a very, you know, writing a great song and writing a hit song is not necessarily the same thing. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you yeah, write okay. a great song that's not a hit. Sometimes you write a song that you think is okay and becomes a hit. Mm -hmm. And um, in the end, you, you, it has to be about doing good work and being proud of it. And, I mean, we're old enough now. You know, we're all guys in our 30s now where we have seen some of our heroes and people that we learn from now pass. Mm -hmm. And I've just been, you know, our, our friend Leon Russell, who's a legend from Oklahoma, a couple years ago passed away. And my oldest son plays piano and loved Leon, got to be with him several times. And my son had not heard he passed away. And I walked into the living room and he was sitting in the room playing a Leon kidding. song. Wow. And I thought to myself, you know, here's this thing, this person's just gone. But his song is as alive as ever, yeah. you know, in this moment. And I think that idea that you get to create something that is, is going to just grow way past you no matter what happens, you know, with, you know, tomorrow, you've put good things into the world. I think that, that right there is kind of what, what keeps it going. Love it. Well, we love the fact that you're in Hawaii and you're performing at the Republic tomorrow. So, everyone, you have a chance finally, yeah, yeah. two and a half decades later, to come Absolutely. see them here. Thank you so much for coming thank in. Yeah, thanks for having us. us. Yeah, Wish we could spend the whole hour talking about this. I know, we fascinating. definitely could. You guys are You go awesome. really deep. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Star, Star Wars. Fast. Okay. Star Wars character. <laughs> oh, God. Um, oh, uh, 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 Boba Plum. Fett. He said Boba Fett? Boba I said Cloak Plume. He's the Jedi Master. I totally know that. Yeah. Yes. Now he's really going to fanboy on you guys. Yeah. Excuse me. Yes. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you guys, guys so much for being here. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you. Sock and Taylor. We have.